everyone today i'll be reviewing some uh, cases from spiegel for galaxy note 10 plus uh, actually there are only three cases but with some slight variations i have the galaxy note 10 ultra hybrid this is the uh, with uh, transparent uh, silicone on the sides this is the ultra hybrid uh, black uh, rugged armor this is actually the second rugged armor and uh, slim armor cs i bought it actually this a uh, little bit earlier but did not uh, or, uh, unbox it or review it it has a holder for the cards let's first start with the unboxing first we'll be getting rugged armor out As you can see, it is a simple case, nothing special. Here is the camera cutout, and uh, down here is the mic, S Pen, Bluetooth, uh, S Pen uh, speaker, and here are the sides. The main advantage is that here are punch holes, and the water doesn't remain uh, trapped inside uh, your case on the sides of where the button are. It's a really slim case. I hope it also feels right. Here is the Galaxy Note 10 Ultra Hybrid. It has silicone. Uh, it's kind of the same rubber on the sides, but the back is plastic and it's tough. Here on uh, also has at the bottom have cutouts okay um, and also it takes some real estate on the downside of the phone um, I will show how tall they are between them let's unbox the ultra hybrid uh, white or transparent as you can see is the same stuff but uh, the silicone on the sides, uh, it's a little bit more rub, uh, feels like rubber. Here is, uh, it has a little bit of, the sli it slides uh, better on uh, the black one, which is a bad thing. And the fourth one is, which I announced for, is the Galaxy Slim uh, uh, Armor Slim, for uh, Spigen Armor Slim. CS. CS comes from card slot, I think. Okay, let me show you how it looks from the this perspective. So this is the armor, slim armor. No, no, no. So the first one is the rugged armor. Okay, it's pretty slim. It's a little bit beefier the ultra hybrid, and the most beefier is the slim armor CS. Let's remove the film and install the. Actually, the film doesn't want to come off. So I have removed the film. It's a little bit uh, of a bitch that film very hard to remove let's insert first case let's remove the film from the note okay So as you can see, it fits perfectly. The cutoff is not so vulgar. The design is actually pretty good. Unfortunately, my battery is all drained. The S Pen is really easy to access. 
as you can see no hassle there okay and also the wait let's focus this my As you can see, there is a little bit of lift off from the table, so it won't stay flat on your screen. But unfortunately, it doesn't cover on the side so well. You can see also some variation of the screen hanging out outside of the case. Okay, let's go to the ultra hybrid. Okay, I'll be using first the black one. The ultra hybrid feels in hand pretty good. It actually have has some extra grip on the back because it's really really glossy. I think it will be a fingerprint magnet, the back of this one. Also, must remove the sticker. Um, as you can see, it also doesn't stay directly flat on the table, so it's a little bit raised on the edges. The differential. Let's put them together. As you can see. One is a little bit fatter than the other one, no complaints there. Also the, the footprint in the hand it will be the same, no extra lateral depth added. The buttons feel really really good, it's a little bit stiffer on the ultra hybrid though. Okay. Um, I have the black notes, so actually this uh, doesn't impact so much the color. If I had some other like white, I think the white one would be a little bit better for this comparison and testing. Okay, next let me show you how it looks. Now it squeaks a little bit when removed. Let me show you how this silicone one feels. Actually, I need to insert the silicone piece first. It stays a little bit stiffer in this one. Yes, and the grip is there more prominent. But uh, on the sides you will get this transparency and uh, on this color it kind of adds to the overall bulkness of the foam. That's what I'm sensing here. But uh, you feel pretty solid right now the foams. When I first uh, time picked up uh, Note 10 Plus compared to my Note 8 which I'm currently filming with, I felt like it's so fragile in my hands, the Note 10. And let me show you how it, this case I hated the, the most, because it is really fat. Really, really fat case. It is not justified the extra weight. Uh, first time I picked, the plastic, it's a two piece, the plastic on the sides, it's, uh, it really adds to the bulk and it's really, really slippery, especially the side part. Uh, after it gets a little bit greased on, it is a, a little better to handle. Let me show you the differences between these two cases. So it's like you having a um, battery case. It really, really adds on the bulk and the protection. 
it actually feels a little bit worse um, the power button when because of the weight when I'm gripping uh, right right to it it's a little bit slippery and it feels mushy to press I really did not like this case and uh, I've seen the instruction you must remove the back cover if you want to wirelessly charge so it's a big no-no for this type of thing and the USB port is really tugged in there as you can see the edit it's uh, really really deeper and the overall dimension is increased as you can see in the lower part is a little bit bigger I, I really do enjoy Spigen cases but this one is the first one I did not uh, like the good part about this case and it's a big go to it, it that uh, has air cushions here on the top here in the button on the back of the case here is uh, you can dent is the behind the card slot but the other cases also have air cushions like here on the top here on the bottom and uh, on the sides I feel here on the bottom is also a little bit raised here on the bottom and here on the top probably my uh, best uh, preferences of these uh, four cases I think I will stick uh, to the um, ultra hybrid uh, I will have to choose between uh, transparent and black one um, the rugged armor really disappointed me this year because uh, I was uh, expecting something else my current case on uh, note 8 which I also have a review uh, I think it's way better than this one this is more simplified uh, but all these cases have uh, military grade uh, protection so all four are military grade protection standards applied I don't know which how they uh, are translated but um, yes yeah, so all of them essentially bring the same protection to your phone but with mild differences and uh, different uh, type of uh, handling and experience uh, with your current phone but uh, the more concerned I am if it lays flat on the on it falls on your stairs it falls directly on your screen so there is no brainer that the screen will shatter and crack on the sides and and the impact area thank you everyone for watching like if you liked it dislike if you disliked it and have a nice day